Hello. Uh, on today's uh, blog, I'm going to show you how to reverse engineer a feature on a round surface. So what I've done is I downloaded this uh, model from um, uh, GrabCAD, and as you can see, it's just a, a dumb solid model. But what what I like to do is uh, basically extract this surface right here with the ABC Motor uh, Oil Company. And basically what I like to do is uh, modify that and come back and put it back in here on the same surface. So the first thing I would like to do is uh, I want to create a, a, a part of that. So when I extract this, it, it's in its own part. So by doing that, I'm going to, by doing, by saying that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a uh, assembly. And uh, from there, I'm going to create a part. Uh, yes, I need to save the assembly first and call it the logo assembly. And then I want to obviously my new part. Uh, I want to create the coincident with the assembly origin. So just click OK. And I call that my part uh, logo as well. OK. Say that. So once I'm in my part environment, I'm going to use the interpart copy feature. So basically, select uh, the features that I want to copy and accept that. Control Q. That's going to highlight the assembly. And now at this point, I want to thicken this uh, feature. Uh, 10,000 is fine. So I'm going to push in that direction. There it is. Now that I have extracted this information, uh, I want to somehow flatten it, right? So that I could go and use this in a draft and modify what I need to do. Okay, so I'm going to go and basically convert this to sheet metal. Again, I'm just doing this just to flat, to uh, flatten the surface here. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I convert that to uh, sheet metal. And there's done that. And the next step I like to do is go ahead and flatten that. And select my X direction here. Perfect. There you go. So there it is and this right here this dimension is 4.652 it's important because keep in mind this is now my flat but that curves around that surface so um, I need to make sure that uh, going forward I use the same scale here so now that I have this um, I'm going to create a, a drawing out of this and on my options it is important. Oh, I didn't save that, so I need to cancel this because I need to, like I said, I need to get that flat pattern out of that. So I'll make sure I save this. There. And then come back and create that. Um, there we go. Make sure I select that flat pattern there. And I want to make sure I create, I select the correct view. And I'll go ahead and select this top view right here. ABC. Perfect. And again, make sure that you are one to one scale. There it is. Okay, so the next step is to basically dissociate this two with the three with a 2d model so that I'm able to uh, basically work with them um, and the next step is actually going to a drawing view which basically allows me to just you know get rid of all this information that I don't need anymore I do want to maintain this this is my border right this is one important part that is the perimeter or the profile of where I need to put in my new design 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, simply add in some new fonts in here and maybe create something new there. So let me just go ahead and uh, start doing that. What I've done is I've gone to my um, text profile and um, basically selected a uh, font that I could place it and obviously you want to make sure you select the correct um, font size. So I'm going to go ahead and try to use this midpoint there and I just put them right there. And again, I selected a new font. Uh, I want to make it look sort of kind of cool. And let me go ahead and select that again. And this time I put in order. Oh, I didn't select the scale or size. Very important. And the top center is my. Uh, there and then again okay something like that Okay, once I finalize my design, um, I all I need to do is simply um, highlight the whole thing and then uh, go ahead and copy this and switch over to uh, my model. Okay, um, obviously, I I'm not gonna need any of this right here so. I could simply go to the delete phase. Make sure I get the right uh, view here. Highlight everything. And we're good here. Okay, so the next step is to go ahead and create a sketch. And I'm going to use tangent plane here. And make sure I get the right uh, view here. Which is going to be, uh, let's see here. It looks like it'd be 180 degrees. Uh, make sure I set the correct orientation. If I hit it on the end, key okay, there. And there. Okay. So once I've done that, then I simply select my paste. And what's important here is that obviously you see the sketch kind of over uh, overlaps the actual uh, bottle here but which is okay because uh, if you remember we did that was a wrap sketch that uh, I mean that was a um, that surface was wrapped around the surface right well we need to wrap this sketch around that surface and we're going to use a wrap sketch command so um, I could have created probably a, a point here so that way I could just lock into that center point but I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball that and I just, what I'm going to do is simply make sure I'm lined up to my, uh, uh, there we go, right there, to my origin, and just say, yeah, that looks about right. Put it right there. Okay, and then the next thing is to uh, use the wrap sketch uh, feature here to uh, wrap around that surface now. I uh, need to select first the, the surface, which is that one, and then simply just go in here and select um, all my features, or my, I'm sorry, my sketches that I want to wrap around that sketch there. So I'm going to accept that, and you can see what is done, just wrapped around there. I'm going to go ahead and hide the um, the sketch here so you can see how it's wrapped around there okay and then the last step is to uh, I'm going to engrave it into there so 
I'm going to use my um, uh, normal cutout and simply select uh, the features that I want to um, basically cut into that surface. So as this part's manufactured, it kind of leaves that impression there. And select each one of those. Oh, wait a minute here. Oh, that can probably give me a little problem there. I uh, just hope it doesn't. And I just realized that they're overlapping on each other there. We'll see what happens. I could have fixed that on the uh, sketch here, but uh, that's what happens there. And accept that. And obviously, I want to go inside there. And let's see how much is going to go in. 10 thousandths, that's fine. I'll go ahead and just click finish. And turn off my sketch, uh, wrap sketch. And you can see that it's created that uh, impression there on the uh, round surface. Um, if I want to make it so it looks stands out, maybe go to my part painter and uh, select that feature so that way you can see it right there. So there you have it. How to basically uh, grab an existing model that came from a different CAD system. Uh, I de you know the, the, the goal here was to basically extract that uh, um, surface, flatten it out, and modify it, and use a sketch wrap to put it back into that surface, and use normal cut up to uh, um, make that impression on the surface. All right, thank you.